continue to track just a few clouds that are moving through our area tonight, but those clouds don't have any rain in association with them. You can see actually the satellite data is kind of jumping just a little bit, but you can see just a few of those clouds that are mixing in. The real rain is out to the west where you can see some of these showers back in Texas, Oklahoma and into Arkansas. And then this system in the plains here is is causing some severe weather there. You can see in parts of Kansas and up into Nebraska, we have some watches in association with that earlier tonight at five and six. We were watching some storms with this system moving out of Virginia, uh, but now that severe weather threat is actually kind of coming down a little bit. The Storm Prediction Center still has it in a level one or two risk, but that's starting to weaken somewhat where we saw those storms out in the plains. That's where there's a level three risk for severe weather there tonight. And of course, we're watching this system because it is going to try to get closer to us by tomorrow. It stays mainly well to the north and west of us. We're not going to have any rain here tomorrow. No storms around either, but once you get back into Arkansas, Missouri and up into areas of Illinois, that's where there's a level two risk. Another level three there in parts of Ohio, of Iowa, as well as the northern parts of Missouri. Uh, and so what we're going to be watching is once we get into Wednesday, the main energy with that system that has severe weather with it looks like it's going to stay up to the north. We may see just a few showers sweeping through North Georgia later on Wednesday, but as of right now, we're not concerned about a severe weather threat for us because again, those ingredients are going to go more to the north. So here's a look at our rain chances. Tomorrow will be dry. Wednesday, we're introducing a 20% chance for a shower, mainly later in the day. We're thinking Thursday will be dry, and then the rain chance is coming up for Friday to 30%, 40% chance for showers on Saturday. We're still kind of analyzing uh, what's happening, looking for consistency well, with the models there for the weekend rain chances right now going with 40%. We'll let you know if we have to change that a little bit. Here's our future radar showing again a few of those clouds in the morning when you're driving into work. I do think we'll see more clouds than sunshine for that drive in, but then by afternoon more sun will be breaking through. It's going to be a pretty nice day. It's going to be warm again. That southerly flow keeping us on the warm side. Then on Wednesday, a few more clouds again, not a huge rain chance. You see that system that moved through there. That's going to be just a few showers late Wednesday, even here in Atlanta, just a 20% chance for a shower. I think those chances will be a little bit higher north of the city. Then once we get into Thursday, we're going to be seeing uh, again just mainly a few clouds around, not really overly concerned about a rain chance for Thursday, but then those rain chances coming up a little bit more Friday and also into the weekend. Temperatures remaining above average. Average high for this time of year, 73, 74 degrees. We'll be at 83 tomorrow, 80 Wednesday, 86 on Thursday, 84 Friday. Rain chances higher uh, Saturday and Sunday, about a 40% chance for showers, a couple of thunderstorms. But look what happens. We do cool down Sunday to 72, and by Monday we start to clear out, but highs only around 68 degrees.